After four days of traveling, meetings, ceremonies and speeches, during a press conference with journalists, the Pope publicly praised one of the Vaticanists on the trip. Si diceva che questa giornalista è a disposizione le 24 ore per il lavoro, che sempre lascia passare gli altri prima, lei dietro, e che sempre dà la parola agli altri, e lei cita. Bello, eh, di un giornalista che dicano questo. E questo lo dice Manuel Beltrán sulla nostra Eva Fernandez. Grazie. Pope Francis referenced an article by José Beltrán, the director of Vida Nueva, a magazine the Pope is very fond of. Hearing the Pope's words and her colleagues' applause left the journalist nearly speechless. The Pope praised Eva Fernandez's work several times, especially the work she did for his latest long interview. Pope Francis spoke with Carlos Herrera, the main presenter of the Copa radio channel. Eva Fernandez insisted for years to get the Pope to do that interview, and she took care of preparing a good chunk of the questions and of coordinating everything to make it possible. She could die at any moment. It was 2011. Ten years later, that medical diagnosis has not come true, thank God. It's all thanks to the intercession of John Paul II, who still helps others today. These cases are not the only ones. More than 15,000 testimonies of extraordinary favors attributed to Carol Wojtyla have reached the Vatican. Even a relic with a few drops of his blood gathers crowds in the streets and lead to countless new miracles. John Paul II is still alive.